I'm sure I'm not alone in thinking. I thought this day would never come. Jurassic Park is getting a single player survival video game that's also serving as a direct sequel to the very first movie. Promising to continue and expand the adventure that we see in the original film, Jurassic Park Survival was announced to the surprise and excitement of Jurassic fans alongside an incredible trailer that gave us our first look at the game. The video game that the Jurassic Park franchise has always deserved is finally happening, at least that's what this game is setting out to be. A release date is yet to be confirmed, but the trailer has revealed a lot about the story and the setting. Needless to say, everybody is excited to learn more about Sabre Interactive's upcoming Jurassic adventure. The game also appears to provisionally hold a Peggy 16 rating. We'll discuss what that means for the game in this video, as well as explore everything we know so far about Jurassic Park survival. And there's some very exciting things you might not know. So let's dive in. Number 10, Stealth and Horror. Jurassic Park Survival will be taking a lesson from the success of games like Alien Isolation and The Last of Us and will implement stealth as a primary form of survival in this game, meaning you won't be running around Isla Nublar all guns blazing. Rather, the player will need to be stealthy and efficient to evade the many threats of Jurassic Park, and if the two formerly mentioned titles are anything to go by, we'll need to use objects and sounds as distraction. Sabre promises you'll need to use your ingenuity through distraction and stealth to navigate intense and unforgettable encounters in a journey to outlast some of the deadliest creatures to ever walk the earth. We can only imagine the sheer terror that hiding from velociraptors would bring. Jurassic Park had its share of sequences that felt straight out of a horror movie, and the creepy, isolated feel that the first movie captured was present in this trailer. The main character will be abandoned and alone on the island, and will have to navigate a now broken park to survive and hopefully find rescue. While there is no actual mention of the word horror on the official website, the trailer doesn't hold back on that scary tone, and honestly, what could be more frightening than being stranded alone on an island full of dinosaurs? Not to mention, the power's out. Ah! Number 9. When will the game release? Like you, we can't wait to get our hands on this game, but unfortunately the trailer did not reveal when the game might be hitting shelves. The question is, will the game release in the year 2024 or 2025? Our bets honestly are 2025, but there is always a chance the game is nearing the final stages of its development cycle and therefore might be ready for release towards the end of 2024. It really is too early to say at this point in time, and the game has been in development for as long as 10 months, but given the fact that the trailer and accompanying announcement information didn't contain a release year, I think it's safe to say we likely won't be playing Jurassic Park Survival in 2024. And while that is quite disappointing, it gives us all the more time to upgrade to the appropriate gaming system if you're still running the last gen. Jurassic Park Survival is being developed for the PS5, Xbox Series X and S and the PC, so there is a serious promise to have an outstanding interactive and visual experience with this game. Number 8. Dr. Maya Joshi In the game and from what we know so far, you will play as Dr. Maya Joshi, an in-gen scientist left behind on Isla Nublar in the immediate aftermath of the events of Jurassic Park. Already expanding around the story of the first film, Dr. Joshi was working at the park but missed the last ferry back to the mainland and is now trapped on the island. Unfortunately, the last of the survivors of the Jurassic Park incident have already left. In the trailer, we meet a seemingly already wounded Maya who stumbles through the iconic visitor's center. Her dinosaur necklace shows her love for dinosaurs, and some have speculated that her lack of lab coat or lab wear indicates that she might actually be a veterinarian or part of another staff department at the park. Attached to her belt, we see a walkie-talkie and a flare, and we think this ties into what we know about the stealth-based gameplay. While Jurassic Park did indeed have an arsenal, we think Maya will employ the use of flares to distract and potentially frighten dinosaurs away. The website tells us that Maya was unable to evacuate the island, which could hint at her character already being in some sort of trouble ahead of the park breaking down. This raises some interesting questions. What exactly caused Maya to miss the boat and become stranded on the island? How did she end up completely alone? Is she 
actually alone or are there other characters that will come into play? What is her story? The answers to these questions could add some interesting lore to the story of Jurassic Park and what was happening on that island at the time, as well as provide a very compelling story for the Jurassic Park survival game as a whole. Number 7. A Fully Realized Isla Nublar the announcement tells us adventure through a fully realized Isla Nublar filled with reactive wildlife, dinosaurs and other surprising threats. From the iconic towering park gates to the visitor center and beyond, Jurassic Park comes alive like never before. While the wording is not a full confirmation of the game being open world, it confirms that the island as a whole has been constructed and will likely be explorable. There are two paths that the game could take. First, the open world route, and honestly, we're hoping this is the case. Imagine being able to explore Isla Nublar and being left to your own devices, driving the Jeeps, exploring the paddocks, finding a dead Nedry. But the game could choose a more linear path like the more recent Tomb Raider games that still give you an open world experience, but in more closed off sections with well hidden barriers. Either way, this game marks the return of Jurassic Park's iconic features, the legendary gates, the visitor's center, the raptor paddock, it's all returning and will be explorable in the game. The trailer also shows us a number of iconic sites including the helipad, the T-Rex paddock and the various parts of the visitor center complex and we can't wait to see more especially from in-game footage. But not only will these iconic locations be present in the game, locations we didn't see in the movie and have yet to visit in subsequent installments will also be featured, allowing the player to truly roam the grounds of Jurassic Park and the island as a whole. Imagine stumbling upon the scene of Nedry's demise. We can only imagine what secrets might be hiding in the jungles of Isla Nublar. Number six, first person. Jurassic Park Survival is a first person, single player, action adventure game set in the days following the events of the original 1993 movie. While earlier iterations of this game, we'll get to that shortly, swapped between third and first person, Sabre Interactive have landed on that trespasser first person approach and we will be playing from Dr. Maya Joshi's point of view. The trailer showed us a peek of this experience in its final few shots and it's every bit as daunting as you might expect. Players will experience firsthand the terror and uncertainty of finding your way around an island filled with prehistoric creatures, lurking in the dark of the jungle, behind the door of a freezer or right behind you and find out what it takes to survive alone in Jurassic Park. <laughs> anyone there? We're at the halfway point now and want to say that if you want to check out our detailed breakdown of the trailer, you can do so by hitting the link in the description. Number 5. Third Times the Charm any true Jurassic fan will know that this is not the first Jurassic Park survival. The franchise has a weird relationship with video games, particularly games of this genre. Jurassic Park Survival is also the name of a 2001 Jurassic Park 3 tie-in video game that was ultimately cancelled. While not taking place immediately after the first film and also being third person as opposed to first, 2001 Survival took the player back to the islands and promised an edge of your seat adventure. Stealth played a role in the original game too, but regardless, the game never saw the light of day. The title Survival or Survivor would see a reimagining after Jurassic World's release in 2015. After that time, development rumors began for Jurassic World Survivor, an open world third person survival game set after the events of Jurassic World. The game would go through development with various studios before eventually being cancelled and while there are some core differences in gameplay and story, many similarities exist between what the game was meant to be and what the upcoming Jurassic Park survival is promising. It would be hard to ignore what came before and while the developers themselves have indeed confirmed that they didn't know about 2001 survival and thus are not using it as inspiration, we bet those involved on Universal's end have been taking notes and examining prior failures to ensure this game doesn't repeat the same mistakes. Or make all new ones. Uh, John, what are we? Number 4. Peggy 16 once the trailer had dropped, a number of developers and staff from Sabre Interactive took to Twitter to share their excitement about both the game and the reaction to the trailer. From a roundup of tweets, we can gather that the game has been in active development with the company for roughly 10 months. A traditional development cycle for a AAA title would be anywhere from two to five years. That in itself tells us that we shouldn't expect this game prior to 2025, but of course, anything's possible. Regardless, a 10 month development cycle so far indicates that Sabre 
Amiibo began working on this title in 2023 and will continue development through next year. The game has been provisionally rated as Peggy 16. This wasn't something many people seemed to originally notice as it was only shared with the PlayStation UK version of the trailer, but regardless, this rating puts the game in an interesting position. For some context, Alien Isolation featured a Peggy 18 rating. The adult classification is applied when the level of violence reaches a stage where it becomes a depiction of gross violence, apparently motiveless killing or violence towards defenseless characters. Whereas survival, at this point in time in development, has been awarded with a Peggy 16 rating. This rating is applied once the depiction of violence reaches a stage that looks the same as would be expected in real life. However, for those who want confirmation of blood and gore and serious violence, Peggy 16 doesn't necessarily mean tame, not at all. Parentzone.org.uk lists Peggy 16 as, at the 16 level, you can expect to see more mature and realistic violence against human characters. The game may deal heavily with death and injury to humans. Gory and bloody violence may be included at a Peggy 16 level, but only if the game is arcade style. Here's hoping Jurassic Park Survival delivers the same horrors that Jurassic Park gave us, and hopefully even more. Number 3, The Dinosaurs of Jurassic Park. It wouldn't be a Jurassic Park video game without dinosaurs, and the alpha gameplay showed us three fan favorite species actively pursuing Maya. We saw the Dilophosaurus, the Velociraptor, and the Tyrannosaurus Rex. The trailer also revealed the Gallimimus stomping over the Explorer, and we revealed in our previous video that we have heard that every dinosaur seen in the Jurassic Park movie will appear in the game meaning we will also see the Brachiosaurus and the Triceratops in the game as well. As great and old school Jurassic as the game looks to be in this trailer, it's exciting to think about what scenarios might bring us to encounter herbivores like the Brachiosaurus and the Triceratops, but also what other dinosaurs might be in store. Could Dr. Maya Joshi and players of the game find themselves climbing a tree to escape a carnivore only to be met by a singing Brachiosaurus? Will players have to dodge a group of stampeding Triceratops in the valley of Isla Nublar, we can't wait to see what Jurassic Park survival has in store for us as we plot our own adventures across the island. Number 2. Sabre's History Sabre Interactive is by no means a small studio. A US-based developer and publisher, Sabre owns over 20 studios worldwide, hosting more than 2,500 employees. Many will know or have seen their work on Halo, the Master Chief Collection, but the studio have a variety of games of different genres under their belt, all with mostly positive reviews. World War Z is a heart-pounding co-op third-person shooter game featuring hordes of zombies and focused on fast-paced, gruesomely spectacular action, while SnowRunner is a beautifully stunning slow-paced driving simulator, showing that Sabre can handle multiple game styles, genres, and still deliver on quality. I've personally played SnowRunner and I can only hope that Maya has the opportunity to drive Jurassic vehicles. The driving physics in that game are the most realistic in any video game and driving through the muddy roads of Isla Nublar could pose a suspenseful challenge for players. Imagine stumbling across a vehicle in the jungle, it might at first seem like an easy way out but could quickly become a disaster. Number 1. The Frozen Raptor the trailer showed us the Velociraptor that attacked Tim and Lex is now a threat for Maya. The end of the trailer showed us that the cold storage door, the very one that Tim and Lex slammed shut and locked in Jurassic Park, is now slowly opening. This in itself could of course just be a bit of creative liberty for the trailer and maybe the raptor won't be featured in the game or maybe it will be an easter egg if you find yourself in the kitchen. Either way, Lex locked that freezer door and even inserted the pin, so who opened the lock? The door locks! Ellie, boot up the door locks! There is so much to look forward to over the coming year as we learn more about Jurassic Park survival and now the wait truly begins. The team at Jurassic Outpost were blown away by the trailer and surprise announcement and while rumours have been circulating for quite some time, as a Jurassic fan, you're never quite sure what's going to happen. You can rest assured that we'll keep you up to date with all the latest on this game. As always, share your thoughts down below and give us a like if you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.